All right, so let's react to this uh, Kendra G video. Hey, what's your name? Is it Ash? It's not Ash, but I go by Ash. And my name is not Ashley either. Do you want me to call you Ash? Yes. Okay. Ash, where are you calling me from? Um, I'm from New York, but I reside in Delaware. Delaware. How old are you? 26. 26. What do you do for a living, mama? Um, I'm in banking. Okay. Do you have any kids? I have one son. How old is your son? He's six. Six? Have you ever been married? No. I've no. been engaged. Engaged. And what's your zodiac sign? I'm a Scorpio. Scorpio. We got Ash, Delaware, 26, Scorpio, and Bacon, mom to a six-year-old, never married. What kind of man are you looking for, girl? Oh, I'm looking for a provider, honestly. Um, I provide for myself, and I feel like if I'm going to be with a man... Yeah, continue to provide for yourself. It's like ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. This is a thing where women have no brain cells, it seems. You gave a child to a man that didn't marry you, or you didn't want to marry him, and he didn't provide for you. And now you want the next man, now that you're older, have a child, you want this man to be better than the next. Only women can do that shit. And I just want that weight off of me. I'm also looking for someone who could be my friend, someone who can make me laugh. Uh, just a man, like, just someone who could take over and take the masculinity out of me. I can't be feminine. Take the masculinity out of you. That's a red flag. <laughs> Absolute red flag. But I feel like I give off masculine because I am by myself. Okay. You started off with a provider. So what's your definition of a provider? Someone who's going to pay my bills. <laughs> Point blank period. Yeah. Now I'm going to, listen, we're going to have this conversation because I know this might be said. You're a mom to a six-year-old. Um, does the father help out? Is he, are you getting child support? Is he doing that opposed to a new man to come along to take care of you and your child? Um, he's not on child support. He helps when he can and he's not consistent, which is why we're Sorry, that which is why we're not together. Sorry, I don't know if you heard that last part. Yes. So no, say it again. So um, he helps when he can, but he's not consistent. So that's why we're not together. Meaning the co-parenting is not there. So I need if I get a man, I want my man to take on my son and be one with me and have that consistency because the dad is not in with that. Like we don't. It's not like we don't talk or we can't. But he's just not that. You know, it's not. Okay. For my son. So, what would you say to the man that would say you have a higher expectation for the next guy opposed to the one that you have for the man you had a baby with? I'm not with him. But you had a baby by him, and you want a new man to take care of you and your child. So, men will say this, and I know it's going to be said, that's why I want you to respond to it. You want a new man to come along to take care of another man's child and you. I don't want him to take, he doesn't have to take care of my child. I'm not coming in with the expectation of you to take care of my child. But If he's paying your bills? Are you paying your child's bills? I mean, it's like, what? The rent, electricity, uh, groceries, all that shit? It's not just, you're not alone. It's a package deal. So, if he's taking care of you financially, Essentially, he's taking care of that child financially. I'm sorry, I'm being loud. It's just the absolute stupidity. The absolute stupidity. This is this is why women don't really put thought into the shit they say. Uh, yes, he's taking care of your child as well. And it's like she just said, the man, her, the man she. The, the father is inconsistent. She just said she wants the next man to be consistent. To be a present in her child's life. Absolute insanity of women. I mean, this is the thing. This is 
This is why women cannot get better than their baby daddy. Women cannot get better than the man that they gave a child to. Because what who the man that they gave a child to is the man that they qualify for. Because if you could have gotten better, you would have gotten better. Absolute insanity. And now you are less valuable in the dating market, in a man's eyes, than you were before. We are a package deal. And the reason why I'm not with my child's dad is because we don't have that understanding. So if a man is coming into my life, we are going to have that understanding. But but just for clarity, you said you want the new man to pay your bills, right? Mm -hmm. So does your child live with you? Yeah. So wouldn't that be taking care of your child if he's paying your bills? Absolutely. So you do want a man that's going to take care of your child? Absolutely. You but said you not, not a state, state, state. Okay, so... I don't want to get us misconstrued. It's not a standard. You don't need the basic necessities for my child. You don't need to take care of. Meaning I would never ask you and say, hey. Bills are the basic necessity. What is she thinking about? Yeezys? What, what, what is she thinking about? Like, what? The, this, this, is, this is why talking to women is infuriating. Because the intelligent level is so low it's almost non-existent and i don't and i personally don't think women are stupid i, I just think that the, the 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 talking to them is absolutely idiotic hey my son needs a haircut my right, son needs just not to cut you off basic necessities would you want a man to pay your rent or your mortgage and we live together absolutely that's the most basic necessity for your child because they're paying for the roof that your child lives in. To each his own, Kendra. Um, okay, we can keep going. We can keep going. I just <laughs> have to know what I said. I, I'm doing it myself. And this is why single mothers stay single mothers. And this is why single mothers usually end up in situationships. This is why single mothers usually just end up with men that just want their bodies. Absolutely idiotic. So now, and I'm right. single. Right. And I'll come to a man and say, oh, pay my bills. But if you're a man and you're single and I'm a woman and I'm single, what makes you, and we're together, why can't you pay the same bills that I'm paying? And I was doing it when I was single. Because you're not paying it anymore. You want him to pay it all. For what? It's like this is this is the this is one of the worst things of dating a single mom, because the benefits are like practically non-existent. It's like the, it's only it is only responsibilities. Like I, that's how I think. Like. I don't know. No, I think that's how you think, and, we're, and, we're, and I want to be clear because I'm not really trying to give you a lot of pushback. I'm really just having a dialogue conversation, to be quite honest. I'm not a man. You're not looking for me. But what I've had her men say is, you're correct. You're already paying your bills. And you're taking care of yourself. So why is the expectation for him to do that for you? That's what the guy would say counter to what you just said. Why is it an expectation for me to be a woman and be your woman and be submissive to you and be with you? You have no... There's, I, this is the thing, right? Do you think women would be easily submissive to men? I don't think so. Modern day women, they are not naturally submissive. How could you... It's like... It's just... This is the thing where it's like, I, I, my baby mom, and this is part of why she's my baby mom, said she was a naturally submissive woman, said that she wants to be a submissive woman. I paid her bills. I did all that shit. What did I get? A woman that's not submissive, a strong, independent woman. The women that don't need no man. 
That's why men do not listen to the bullshit that women spew. If women don't show it, the femininity, the submissiveness off the bat, do not trust that shit. Oh, if you, once you pay my bills, then I'm submissive. Then I'm feminine. Don't trust that shit, men. Hey, oh, I need a man to take away my, my masculinity so I can be feminine. Do not trust that bullshit. Because that is bullshit. Any woman that say, I will be submissive to the right man is a woman that's never been submissive. And that's a woman that will not know how to be submissive to you. Even if you pay all her fucking bills, she won't. So do not trust that motherfucking shit. Why, why, why do I have to do that if I'm doing it on my own right now? I'm paying my own bills. I live on myself. I can sleep when I want, pee when I want, look how I want when I want in my own place. Why is it that I have to settle and not and pay bills and be a roommate with you and still have to be that feminine person? I, I would rather be alone. So that's why I feel like that. I want my man to provide for me the same way I'm going to provide for him. And that's that. Okay. Okay. What ways are you going to provide for him? You want more children and stuff like that? I don't want any more children until I'm married. So if my man wants children and we get married, then that's when we will have a kid. If we're just dating and we dating, then that's it. But we wouldn't move in with each other because I have a kid. So it's kind of like a, you know, a rocky situation. Like I'm looking for marriage when it comes to like dating and whatever. We're going to be flings if we're going to be flings. I'm young, but. Okay. And just um, stop making me look like an elephant, you guys on TikTok. Just for clarity, then we'll move back right along. So you're looking. So you. This is what. This is what you desire from your husband. So would you expect a man to provide in the dating aspect, or only when you're married? Um, I would say he would have to show that he can provide in the dating aspect before we even get married. Like, how would I know that you can even do that? Like, I wouldn't. Like, no. Yeah, you would do it when we're dating. Okay. Like. Before married that's you gotta crawl before you walk Kendra. <laughs> i just want you to prepare be prepared because you know you're gonna be a highlight there's gonna be a lot of conversation child <laughs> let's keep going we stay here for a long time what are your deal breakers besides not being a provider <laughs> um bad hygiene okay bad hygiene is definitely a deal breaker for me um bad money management is definitely a deal breaker for me um, you don't have to be rich, but you definitely have to be able to manage money. Okay. Um, should he look a certain way? Mm, no. Um, you have to, again, I feel like good hygiene, you can look anyway. You can be a big guy as long as you keep a good cut or a tone guy. Um, I'm really into getting more in tune to my health because I'm getting older, so I would prefer someone who take their health serious as well or is getting into that that could teach me some other stuff, but... In tune with her health. You can see the chicken wings. I'm not against, you know, someone who doesn't. It's not up to standard. You can't look ugly. I'm cute. Like, yeah. But, you know, like, I'm not one of them. No. Okay. Um, what about money? Should he make a certain amount of money? He has to make more than me or at least as much as I make so we can oh. get somewhere. Okay, what's that minimum? Kendra, you're making me put my business all on the street. Well, okay, don't give the exact... I make 60. So you okay. have to make 60 or above. And I don't think that's a lot. I think that's, like, I'm... Yeah, so... Let's do the Kendra cam. Hold on. Okay, we see you. All right, girl. Uh I think it's funny. It's always the chunky women. It's always the chunky women to the obese women to the fat women that are so that can be so uptight with men's uh, weight as well. It's always funny. Okay, it's juicy, juicy booty. <laughs> when was your last relationship, Ash? Um, my last relationship was last year. Last year. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When was the last time you was intimate with someone? 
two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Is that guy an option? Um, no. Why not? Yeah. I admit, great that she's honest. Great that she's honest. But here's the thing. Here's a single mom that now is have higher standards than what she had before to the man that she gave a child to. Just had, she, and most likely she deals with men that don't meet her standards. She gives her body to men that don't meet her standards. And yet, now that you are a man that meets her standards, you have to give more and get what? You get exactly... Look at this, right? What you get and what the man that she just gave her body to get is pretty much the same thing. You get the same thing as a man that didn't meet her standards. That's the insanity. That is the insanity that women never think about. You as a man that meets her standards, that will marry her, that will pay her bills, will provide for her, will be the father to her child, will be the stepfather to her child, so much more, gets pretty much the same thing as a man that do not meet those standards. This man who don't meet her standards, who don't even need to provide for her, got her body. You, who has everything, gets her body too. Or could. Does that seem like an equal deal? What's so special now? What's so special about her body? What's so special about being with her? When a man that didn't meet her standards could still get her. That, that's the insanity of women right here. When men do not meet your standards, the Pookies, the Ray Rays, the bad boys, the, the, the players, these men don't meet these women's standards and you still can get access to these women's bodies, can even get children from these women, i.e. her baby daddy. And yet you, a man who worked hard, who has moralities, has principles, uh worked himself to be a successful or self-sufficient man, wants to provide for a, a woman, wants to marry a woman, wants to have a family, wants to have kids. When you did all this stuff, yet the woman that wants you, right, wants you, would still give her body to men that are crappy, men that are shitty. Where's the equality? Where where's the like? This is this is the thing with a lot of women right now. Women are not women are not worth it because where is the value in it? Where's the value in it? It's absolutely there's no value. And this is the thing, right? This is why I say for men to strive to be the best version of themselves. So they don't have to deal with this BS. Because he's still in his, like, error, I would say. Like, we're more friends than, I would say, looking for which Like, we knew each other for a long time. So when we chill, every time we don't do it, if that makes sense. Like and, and then she, she also said that she's dating with purpose, dating to be married. Yet she will have sex. With no purpose. Yeah. Like we, you know. So no, I wouldn't. I don't. Mm -mm. Okay. I will. No. Okay. So that's not an option. Um, three flaws you have to work on. I have a smart ass mouth. Um. I would just say my mouth. Um. I'm clingy. And I wouldn't say clingy in an annoying way, but I it is annoying. It's very annoying. I'm very clingy. Um, I be wanting my person to be my person. Like I'm very possessive. Um, that's that. Those are the things I would need to work on. Um, and why would a guy be lucky to be with you, Ash? Uh, why would a guy be lucky to be with me? 
I don't know. I feel like if I answer that, I'm going to be very cliche and say, like, oh, I'm this, I'm that. Like, I don't know. God would be lucky to do me because I'm me. Like, I can probably, I don't. You wouldn't. You wouldn't be lucky. She's just another hole. Right? Just another average to maybe below average woman. There's nothing special about her. She's actually just, for a good man, for a good man, she will bring you down. Good men don't deserve this crap. So really, no, it, she's not She's not good to be with. No, that's, that's a hard question. Okay, that's good for you. Okay, you're 26. What's the age range you was in? I would say... 28 to 40. 40. Okay. And could the guy have kids already? He have kids. He have kids. All right. Take care of them and they're not like babies. And he's out of the red zone. Okay. You know, I'm just thinking right here and I'm saying it. I'm, I'm learning something new every day. And I think our dialogue is the, is the disconnect, I think, that we're having between men and women. Because from your stance, I actually get it. You're like, I'm already paying all my bills and I'm taking care of myself. You're an adult. It's like, there's nothing special. You are an adult. You are an adult that expects another adult to take away your responsibilities. No, I don't get it. I mean, like, for her to care about her partner's happiness, okay, great, you're in a relationship. It's two different things. Being an adult and being in a relationship is not the same. It's not like, it's like she's expectant of a man to take away her adult responsibilities. No, it's not the same. So... In your mind, if I'm going to be your woman, as in, I guess, I'm assuming you're going to cook, clean, you know. Yeah, clean your yard, take care of business. I'm going to be having sex with you, all those things. Why would I contribute to the bills if I'm going to be doing all that? I'll just sit by myself. So that's that's the, and I understand that, that point of view. Then there's the man point of view. This is the thing, right? Why? Because most women... Live beyond their means. Here's the thing where um, I did, I saw a study where they did that. Okay, why is it when uh, when one adult, a woman, a man, they are doing fine on their own, right? They're doing fine on their own. They're making decent money. They're, they're living life fine. Why is it when they combine finances, right? They, they, they're now a couple. Uh, they live together. They combine finances. Why are they struggling now that their earnings are actually essentially better because they combine finances? Why? The, because the common, the, the, the true core, the, the true problem is that now they are living beyond their means. That's the problem. This is the thing where women, now you imagine this. You had two incomes and now get together now you won't have one income but you most likely are expecting to live your, your your mind is living a two income life or maybe even more so that's the problem you are not living below your means you won't live below your means that's the issue which i understand too it's like okay the expectation is you want me to provide and some men like you want me to provide for another man's child. And for record, I understand you're saying you're not gonna have any more kids unless you're married, it makes sense. And then you said, I need signs of you being provided before I even marry you. So, and I understand that point of view too. So I think that is the big circle of disconnect between men and women right now. One of them. Mm -hmm. One of them. All right, well, let's do it, Ash. For the guy that can handle your ass, how can he reach out to you? Don't. Women like this do not qualify for good men. They don't. They don't qualify for providers. 
They don't. This is the thing. Women, like, women don't understand. A lot of women do not qualify for providers. I've said this countless times. The stay-at-home mom, stay-at-home girlfriend, the provider men. That is a luxury that most women cannot afford. That is a luxury. Getting a provider man, being a stay-at-home wife, being a stay-at-home mom. Most people cannot afford that. Most people, most women do not qualify for that. And that's the problem that, that that's the disconnect. Here's a woman, she don't qualify for that. She don't. So what she's gonna do, right? Future prediction. She most likely probably become another baby mama. Most likely be in situationships. Be with men that she can't see a future with. That's the thing. That's her that's her path in life. <laughs> the absolute insanity of women. I don't know. What do you guys think?